All right, we're recording. Thank you to the Altman Foundation and the, <laughs> the Horace W. Goldsmith Foundation for helping make the Project Cast possible. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to our show. Join our flow. It's the 50. From the heart of Hell's Kitchen, this is The Projcast, a podcast created by the community at the 52nd Street Project. We're a nonprofit in New York City that partners kids in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood with professional artists. My name is Garrett Kim, program director here at The Project, and thanks for tuning in. We are still getting our next couple of big episodes together, but we don't want to leave you hanging. So today, we're going to hear from a few of our newest members about why they wanted to join the 52nd Street Project. Plus, we have a song for you from last year's song-making program. First up, we have staffer John Sheehy chatting with new official project members Cassandra, Christian, and Nikolai. Take a listen. Okay, say your name. Cassandra. And how old are you? I am nine years old. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? I chose to become a member because my cousins went here and then they told me about it and... They know I really like writing and writing plays and having two brothers who never want to do the plays. Um, They thought I could go here and I actually wanted to go. And um, I told my friend Quovis about it and then she went along. And it's kind of really fun because writing your own plays and chilling out with friends you've never met or friends at school and get so close to them and meeting new people, actually kind of feeling like you're in a Broadway show. That's terrific. So say your name. My name is Christian. And how old are you? I'm nine years old. I am turning 10. When are you going to turn 10? I'm turning 10 in June 19. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Well, at first, the first time that I've ever went to 52nd Street Project was to see my cousins play. And I was really inspired by his play because he was like super embarrassed on his on his play. So I was like, how about I just do this so I could probably like one day I could probably like do a play and then he'll see it and I'll be happy. That's great. Okay, is there anything else that you want to say about the 52nd Street Project or about playmaking? Well, I know that I'm going to see a lot of people but I'm kind of excited because I th- I believe I'm going to be signing up for Smart Partners. So, yeah. So you're looking forward to joining Smart Partners. Mm-hmm. Terrific. Say your name. Nikolai. And how old are you? Eleven. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? One, my mom kept asking me. Two... My sister's here, and three, I thought it would be fun. And I wanted to be acting it out, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is Jayla your sister? Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, Jayla was mad at me. Why was she mad at you? Because supposedly I took everything that she had. She thought you were horning in on her good time? Yeah. (laughs) I think there's enough project for everybody to share. Yeah. (laughs) That was Nikolai, Christian, and Cassandra being interviewed by John Sheehy. And now we're going to listen to a song that was written by project member Ricardo with volunteer Wes Braver for our song-making program last year. Performed last year at our gala by Andy Dan, here's Ricardo's song, The Legend of the Dancing Ice Ballerina.
tallest dancing, just as the legend explained. Ice began to form around the island. Mackie begins gracefully dancing towards the ocean. Mama tries to follow, but I stop her. Mackie dances on the ocean, and as the doll does this, the water becomes ice. Mackie dances till dusk, and Mama and I watch. The doll's movement shifts from fast to slow, and the sun begins to set. Tears form in Mama's eyes, and as soon as the first tear drops, the toss stops for a moment. Everything else stops too, including Mama and I. The ice begins to melt. Everything returns to normal. Mackie is lying lifeless in front of Mama. I pick it up and give it back to Mama, who quickly takes it back. After all, it's her favorite doll. She smiles hugs Maggie. The legend is true. The dancing ice ballerina isn't on the island, but her soul is I. Look at Maggie again, and the forest split second. Its eyes glow. That was Ricardo's song, The Legend of the Dancing Ice Ballerina, composed by Wes Braver and performed by Andy Dan. A special thanks to Kimberly Grigsby, Doug Derryberry, and John F. Carr for performing that song at our gala last year. And that's all for this episode. The project members featured in this episode were Cassandra, Christian, Nikolai, and Ricardo. The adults featured in this episode were Wes Braver and Andy Dan. The project theme song was created by Justin and his smart partner, Eric March, and performed by Marinda Anderson, Rebecca, and Nicole. The project logo was created by Iris Brown. Audio assistance from Jonathan Anderson, Avi Amon, and Brian Freeland. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search The 52nd Street Project. The 52nd Street Project is supported by public funds from New York City's Department of Cultural Affairs and the New York State Council on the Arts. The 52nd Street Project is a nonprofit organization, and we're able to do what we do because of generous folks like you. Please go to our website, 52project.org slash donate to check out how you can support us. Every little bit helps. And now for a couple of events coming up here at the project. On Friday, April 13th, don't be scared. Come to the project's annual filmmaking festival. Four project members are making short films with the support of professional filmmakers and actors. You can walk the red carpet starting at 5.30, and the screening will begin at 6 o'clock p.m. And two weeks after that, on Friday, April 27th, our dance-making class will be presenting their work at 7.30 p.m. Seven project members have choreographed original dances for themselves and volunteer partners to perform. Free tickets for filmmaking and dance-making can be found on our website, 52project.org. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back soon with more ProjCast. See you next month. Wait, nothing rhymes with month. On.
on the 52nd Street Projcast. <laughs>